Hey y'all, it's Holdy, and today I'm going to be talking about mini seasons once again. So I've been playing this a little bit more, and I've already made a video about this with my initial thoughts and stuff. I'll be on the channel if you want to watch it. But this one, I'm going to be going over it. I've been playing it more, and I've got to say, mini seasons is the best game mode MLB The Show has ever made. Alright, now, I'm including... Rain seasons, co-op, battle, right, all online modes, single player modes. It's the best game mode ever made by Dy Dynasty. It's so good for everything. And the one nitpick, which isn't even really a nitpick as I'll show later, is it doesn't have like a direct, direct XP method. So you know how if you do like collections, you do player programs, you can go and you can get XP or you can um, do showdown and get XP, which I will be doing this showdown and I will be getting uh, this Washington National uniform uh, soon. I'm, I'm grinding those out, um, but you don't get direct XP for many seasons. However, though, you actually get more XP from this. And I think that's a misconception, which could throw some people away if they didn't understand it. But if you look at the goals, and you see the goals and the rewards, like if you win the mini season championship, 5k XP, 4k XP for winning the semifinals, 4k XP for making it to the playoffs, 15k XP for getting 20 hits, and a show pack, prospect pack, all these packs and a ton of stubs. Not small. Sit, hit single, a uh, hit a single in a single season, hit 10 home runs with all star series players, 3k XP. 3k XP for getting 60 strikeouts with flashback collision players. You see how you're getting all this XP. 3k right there. You're getting a ton of XP all throughout this. And it's not like it's hard to get these uh, missions done. And once you add it all up, you're getting like 30 plus k XP. And not to mention, you get over 5k XP for every single one of these games. Now the next thing I'm going to be talking about are the stubs you get from this. So as you see... You get 10k XP, just 10k stubs, just from doing the championship. 10k stubs from that. That can get you that some diamond players are getting that low right now. So you can get like one of those super cheap diamond 85 overalls with that. 2k right here. 10, 1, 1k. 2k right here. 2k. 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 Honestly, these aren't really that worth it though. You can't do this all for one, but this. Uh, extra base hits on Hall of Fame, not worth it. But these are all such easy things. You get stubs, you get packs, and oh my gosh, the packs you get. Just like, I, I'm just telling you, this here, right now, is like, the main reason this is so great. Because 5k XP, 10k stubs, and also this championship bundle. As you see right here, you get 15 the show packs, one ball and is a habit pack. And then you get this one, which doesn't really matter. But you also get prospect choice packs, for guaranteed gold. You get show packs. You get ball and it's a habit packs. You get one of the free stadium packs. That's those more stubs. You get a ton of show packs, like right here, five show packs. So you get a ton of these packs. And also, this one allows you to parallel your stuff. So while you're also par uh, playing this game, you're getting parallels for every single one of your players. Which brings me to another point. You, this is the main way to get the um, parallel missions done. So this is how you get like the main way you get these uh, parallel XP missions, which gives you 4K XP on top of that. So just you're just racking in so much XP stubs and packs. And the last thing I want to talk about is how quick these go. So last night I played from this game to this game in 20 minutes these are five minute games pretty much if you can go if you know what you're doing it go fast they're just you just get them done like that and if if you see how fast that take took me and you see how many games there are this only takes you if you're like playing this game mode super casually like maybe like four or five days and also these missions and challenges reset monthly so it'll get even better or worse i didn't even talk about the 89 overall everlong gory you get which has Juicy power and good defense. Like you just get so much 
stuff from this thing. That's the thing. You get so much from doing this. And it's not like this is hard. You can do any difficulty you want. So, uh, if you really just want to try to get all these ones, you just want to keep on farming these, you can just put it on rookie, you get five runs, and it's just bunt. So, you can just do all these things. It'll get you done really fast. And then, like, that's different from something like Conquest. Because Conquest, you have to take all that time in between to press and go to every single square. Showdown can be super tedious and annoying to do all those like tiny little missions and then all the pitching ones and then these can be super frustrating unless you're really good at battle royale you're typically not going to get much from it events is pretty hit or miss depending on what the reward is and then ranked seasons this one is just something you do competitively don't look at my record three of those for disconnects check my last video for that that last video that was a good comeback win so check that one out but i'm saying and then you have mini seasons which is fast quick and just gives you it just gives you so so many rewards and that is why mini seasons will be forever be the best game mode sds has ever added to mlb the show 22 uh thank you guys for watching this video i hope this you guys find this in, informative and i hope you guys start busting out these mini seasons um make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one peace